Welcome and welcome to WGC and at that Tantra Life, bringing you some great content today. I hope you're having a great day. And um, I want to bring you a two-part series today, which is um, really great for women. Men can certainly join in. You're not going to have any adverse effect from doing these exercises. You'll get in touch with your feminine side, which is a beautiful thing. But the practices I'm doing today are geared towards women and towards the feminine. Really, really um, beautiful. The first part we're going to do is a, it's called the deer massage and it's a qigong exercise um, coming from Chinese medicine and Taoist uh, exercises and the uh, more of a Taoist tantric practice. And the second part is going to be a kundalini yoga meditation for um, basically revitalization. Um, it's a wonderful uh, meditation for before you go to bed. It's really balancing um, to the hormonal system um, and really balancing to the endocrine system. So uh, both of these practices are very complementary for each other and combining them will really, uh, and practicing them over the course of a couple of weeks to a month will really yield the results you're looking for. So as with anything, we want to really practice and make sure that we're continuing to practice uh, to see a result. You'll feel great after the first time, but the results come in time and after weeks and sometimes even months of committing ourselves to these practices. So with the deer exercise, which is taken from Chinese doctors who actually were studying uh, animals in the wild who had a lot of fertility, a lot of longevity, a lot of strength in their reproductive cycles, um, animals that lived uh, in a very sort of youthful way and sustained their youth throughout their lifetime. And there is a few animals that fall into this category, uh, sea turtle being one of them and the deer being another. And so deer on a very regular basis will pull their glandular system, pull their sex organs, um, and do different breaths that are addressing these parts of their bodies on a very regular basis. Um, massaging certain parts of their bodies, um, and, you know, we can learn a lot from the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom also deals with stress by doing a big shake and shaking out any stress after some, something traumatic or something stressful happens. And um, even young children sort of do this. Um, but as adults, we've learned to kind of control ourselves and control our bodies and be acceptable. So in these practices, we're really going to kind of let ourselves go sometimes and do things that seem a little bit archaic, but are actually really primal and what our bodies want and will respond very quickly without needing to take a pill or a medicine. We can really heal ourselves. So these practices are about tapping into some of this animal energy, this primal energy, and bringing it into your regular practice every day um, to further connect you with yourself, with others, and to really stimulate parts of your body that um, are very easy to stimulate and that will react very quickly in a really positive way for your overall health. And we as women can trap a lot of tension in our sexual organs, uh, in our breasts, in our uterus, in our vagina, um, and men as well. So practices to really release that so that we stay healthy um, in these areas are really vital to our longevity, to our stamina, to our sexual um, wellness, and, um, and being, having, keeping our libido up and, and, and feeling sexual. So if you've been feeling a little bit sluggish in these times and, um, and not connected to your body, um, these practices along with the yoni egg practice, which I also will show in coming weeks, um, are a great way for women to feel more connected to your body, to your sexual organs, to feel more sexual, and to really stimulate your system into having more balanced hormones, um, and f just feeling ov overall like really vital. So the first part of this exercise uh, will start just by warming up. So 
I invite you to come into a nice seated position, taking up any space you need, really spreading out and feeling like you're creating a sacred space where you're worth this time and energy that you're bringing to yourself right now. So really just tapping into being where you are, wherever that is and accepting it and making it sacred in the room around you and closing the eyes and tapping into your body and taking a nice long deep breath into the stomach and gently letting it go through the nose pulling the navel point back towards the spine and inhaling again deepening your breath and getting connected with your lower chakras feeling rooted into the ground and exhaling allowing that root into the ground to become stronger inhaling and envisioning a beautiful red light that's grounded into the center of the earth like the roots of a tree climbing up into the lower part of your body connecting you into the earth inhaling and exhaling into this light into this vision and now picturing a beautiful white light from the heavens coming in through your crown almost like a droplet of water or a beautiful falling star coming into the crown and meeting this red light at the heart center to create a beautiful pink light and please bring your hands to your heart center left hand on the bottom right hand on the top connecting these light into a beautiful radiant pink heart center and just gently inhale into the heart feeling this connection between the upper and lower body and feeling a connection with yourself and allowing anything that's holding tension to just melt into the earth beneath you and be released through the breath taking a nice deep inhale again into the heart and exhaling and now expanding this sense of our chakras into the sacrum and the throat and on every inhale and exhale feeling a wave like water flowing gently between the two chakras inhaling the wave up into the throat and exhaling the wave down into the lower chakras inhaling and feeling it rise up into the throat and exhaling it back down and just allowing this flow like water between these two energetic points of your body inhaling and exhaling feeling this wave flowing through you and now we're going to lower down into our sex organs moving the energy of the breath down on the exhale and inhaling up into our third eye and expanding this energy and feeling this movement up and down the front of our body
Up into the third eye, inhale and back down, lowering and flowing into the root chakra. And just letting this energy gently start its motion. That's beautiful. And taking one more inhale and bringing your hands to your breasts now. And men, this is okay for you to do as well. It's a sacred area, it's sensitive, and it is connected to our sexuality, whether you're a man or a woman. But just feeling how connected to our hearts this area of our body is. And the touch of our breasts really, especially in women, can generate a lot of beautiful energy and the release of wonderful hormones through our system. And for this deer exercise, we're just going to begin flowing the fingertips down into the heart center and around the breast area. In the hands at the heart center, and allow yourself to connect and love your chest, your breasts, this beautiful power center of our body. Where mother's milk is made, where we nourish, and where we really connect with our hearts. And we're going to move the fingertips in a downward motion and up and around and back in. And we're going to do this 36 times. And you can do this as many times as you like. I recommend doing it every day, women, to really see the changes and the connection. It's wonderful for the libido, for balancing sexual energy, for giving yourself love. And normally you would do this with your shirt off. Um, fully naked is best. So you can really touch your skin and stimulate all of the nerve endings. Um, you can use a nice oil that makes you feel sensual and nourished. So really Just feel the energy circulating from the heart and loving your breasts. This can also help increase the size of the breasts. Um, it stimulates the hormones of the breasts to produce more tissue. So if you don't want to stimulate breast growth, then just be a bit more gentle and intentional with your touch. And really just allow this connection and honoring of this beautiful heart-centered area.
Breathing slowly and deeply. And 36, coming back to center, holding the breath, feeling the fingertips at the heart. Feeling this new stimulation. Still connected into the earth and up into the cosmos and generating this beautiful heart-centered energy, just allowing it to integrate. And now we're going to do 36 times in the other direction. So starting upward and outward, opening and feeling this beautiful energy. And women, this really helps with fertility. This helps with shortening your periods. It really helps to balance the hormones to have a less intense premenstrual time of your month. So we don't wanna do this during menstruation or during pregnancy. But if you're trying to get pregnant, this is a really lovely, small, gentle exercise you can do to feel feminine and sexual, and to also balance your hormones. You'll find that your menstrual cycle is much more gentle and shorter when you're doing this exercise. also do this exercise with your yoni egg in. The second part of the exercise is called holding firm. Just a few more strokes will go there. And coming back to our breasts and just gently holding them. If you're a woman who has trouble with sensitivity in the breast area, if you're too sensitive or not sensitive enough, this will also help stimulate the nerve endings to be more receptive to touch. And in sexual qigong, the breasts are a very vital part of both the masculine and the feminine energetic points reaching into the uterus for women and into the prostate for men. So holding this area gives us a nice long link into these organs. So once you're finished with the breast massage part of the deer exercise, you can just come sitting in a gentle position. You can sit in a chair. It's just important that the back is straight. So whatever's comfortable for you. 
And the second part of the exercise we call holding firm. And so holding firm is literally using the PC muscle, which is this muscle that allows our urine to flow and to stop. So if you can picture yourself or have a little test with that feeling of stopping the flow of urine, that tightening is that muscle, the PC muscle. So some people call these Kegels in Kundalini. It's part of the Mulbanda and it's this holding of the anus rectum sex organs. So we're going to focus on that area and pulling it and holding it. And you can do this for as long as you'd like, just gently holding this PC muscle as though you're stopping the flow of urine and keeping it held. And using the breath I want you to slowly generate this energy, this hold and this lock up the spine. Feeling this energy moving up through the spine, all the way up the neck, into the crown of the head. and illuminating you with a golden light of energy and bringing it back down and even if you can't feel it just picturing it coming back down the front of your body moving through the third eye down through the throat chakra down the heart into the stomach and down into the sex organs and root and pulling a little tighter again back up the spine going through the pelvic floor into the heart space up the back of the neck into the third eye back of the third eye up into the th crown and then over again, coming down into the third eye, pressing your tongue against the upper palate and pulling the energy down into the heart and down into the lower triangle, the navel, your vagina, for men, the rectum, just holding, holding. And we'll go one more time, bringing this energy, tightening it up into the back of the pelvis, up the lower back, into the back of the heart, up the back of the neck, into the back of the head and the third eye, over the crown, back down into the third eye, into the front of the body, down into the throat chakra, into your heart space, into your belly, and down into the pelvis, the pelvic floor tight and grounded into the anus rectum sex organs and release the hold. Taking a nice gentle inhale feeling the energy circulating like stardust through your entire being. Feeling this circle of energy that you've just created. Balanced and connected.
radiant in your heart space. beautiful. And now we're going to come into our meditation. You can shake out the legs and just get yourself any tightness out of your body. You can do some spinal flexes, rotating in nice circles, opening the heart exhaling back and just circling this area to further generate the energy that we've unlocked here that's wonderful And going in the opposite direction. Really opening up this space, this creative force and allowing it to rise through your body. Wonderful. And now we're going to bring our hands with the pinkies, with the hands open and the base of the palms together. The pinkies, the sides of the pinkies and the sides of the outer sides of the hands are touching. The inner sides of the thumbs are touching. And the mudra is just opened at the heart center here. And we're going to do a four-part breath, mentally and silently chanting sa ta na ma which means birth, life, death, and rebirth. So really regenerating ourselves. And the four-part breath will look like this through an open O-shaped mouth. <laughs> then we'll hold the breath and chant silently, Wahe Guru, which just means, wow, teacher, wow, I'm seeing the light. So we'll hold that for two seconds, this thinking, Wahe Guru, and exhale through the nose. Again, holding it out for a couple of seconds and inhaling again. Eyes are looking at the tip of the nose and they're nine tenths of the way opened for this meditation. So if you're ready, let's begin.
and inhale. Holding the air and suspending it. Exhale. Inhale. Holding the air and expanding. Suspend the breath. Exhale. And last time, inhale. Pulling up, applying root lock and expanding. And exhale through the nose, bringing the hands to the knees. Allowing the energy to integrate. Please bring the hands to the chest, to the heart center. And thank you for joining us today for another beautiful heart-centered tantric practice. I hope that you can incorporate this into your daily practice. This is so good for women. And um, it's been an honor to be here with you today. Follow us on At That Tantra Life and stay tuned to WGC on YouTube for more videos. Thank you and Satnam.